Just as a short disclaimer, it'd be best if you watch the Rube Goldberg video first before watching this one. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jonathan Ziegler. I'm a computer engineering student from Tennessee Tech University. My summer physics course tasked me with creating a Rube Goldberg machine that took a selfie and then to describe the physics behind it with the best of my ability. The machine had seven different phases that demonstrated the principles of conservation of momentum, conservation of energy, and the force being equal to mass times acceleration. To begin, I'd like to describe my first phase here. I pre-programmed an Arduino microcontroller that I plugged up to a power source at the beginning to start the device. 9.05 joules of energy flowed into the device and to the servo, which transferred the electrical energy into mechanical energy of 18.3 kilograms per centimeter torque. The next phase was the dominoes and the direction switches. This was used to demonstrate the conservation of momentum. As one domino hit another, momentum was conserved. However, it slowed slightly when the domino hit a directional change, and so the vector of the dominoes changed direction and lost a little magnitude due to the frictional forces. The phase after that was a small incline of dominoes illustrating force equaling mass times acceleration. As the dominoes fell forward, gravity dragged it down and the angular velocity decreased as it continued upwards. This transitions us quickly into another phase, which demonstrates, again, the conservation of momentum. When the domino hits the ping pong ball, it is rolled on a low friction surface towards the spoon. The phase after that was the ball hitting the spoon, showing that with the increased acceleration on top of the mass of the spoon, it didn't take much to release the spring-loaded lever. This was another example of force equals mass times acceleration. The spring-loaded lever is another phase showing a good example of conservation of energy as the potential energy is stored in the spring until released by the spoon as kinetic energy. The final phase is another conservation of energy. As the lever hits the switch, the mechanical energy allowed the electrical energy to flow and so the phone could take my selfie. That is the end of the machine. Thank you for watching and special thanks to my professor for this project.